So, there's a new Unmatched, it's called Cobble and Fog. I love Unmatched, it's one of my favourite games. And this game's Broken is sponsored by Restoration Games, who make Unmatched. So, if you can't bring yourself to trust this video that's about to praise the living hell out of it, then don't watch it. Watch a different video about Unmatched. So, yeah, that's your options really there. In the box, there's going to be four new characters. Sherlock, the Invisible Man, Jekyll and Hyde, as well as Dracula. And they're all going to work differently, as is their right. And that's also the point of having new characters, so that these are new ways that you can have nonsense matchups that you want. You want the Invisible Man versus Bigfoot? No problem! Bruce Lee versus a pack of dinosaurs? Yeah, easy, you got it. You're going to get two new game maps on a double-sided board, and I love the way the board looks. I think the art, the style, the functionality of the board is perfect in every way. I love Ian O'Toole. I love what he does with all his art, and he's easily one of my favourite board game artists. And the new thing here with the maps is that in the Baskerville Mansion side of the board, he has what all good mansions should have in them, and that's secret passages which are shortcuts around the board. It's a super thematic way to have that. It's great. It's really just a wicked way to have shortcuts. And you can have Dracula come out from behind a wardrobe and bite Sherlock in the neck by surprise. Each character works in a different way. That's the point of Unmatched. And Sherlock, for instance, has the ability that his abilities and powers can never be cancelled by an opponent, which feels busted as hell. But that's how all the characters feel in Unmatched. It's why I like it so much. Everyone always feels like their opponent's character is overpowered and unfair. But that's exactly what they're thinking about you. And everyone's right about it. Sherlock also gives you the ability to predict what other players are going to do. And if you do, then you completely cancel their card because he's a detective and fights in slow motion like Robbie Downey Jr. When you play Sherlock, sometimes, just sometimes, you're going to feel like a genius. Dracula always does damage at the start of their turn, as long as he's next to an opponent. He drains the life out of them, and he's super aggressive. But he has a really low life total, so you need to use the sisters that he has to protect you, and when they die, and you're going to spawn more vampires. He's all about sucking blood to gain life, hypnotising your opponents to get stronger, and when there's more vampires around, he becomes super Dracula. The Invisible Man will harness the power of fog. Essentially, there'll be fog tokens on the board, and the Invisible Man can move between them. It's all about hiding in the darkness and then striking out of nowhere. He's incredibly tricky and deceptive and feels very, very invisible sometimes, especially when you're fighting against him and he stabs you in the back. And finally, there's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And while Dr. Jekyll is a nice, diplomatic fella, Mr. Hyde is a goddamn monster who can literally one-shot an opponent if the timing's perfect. The only problem is that while Mr. Hyde is powerful, it drains Dr. Jekyll's power, and he hits himself essentially for one each time you harness the power of Mr. Hyde. This is my favourite unmatched set. It's fantastic, it's incredibly thematic, it's beautiful, the minis are great, the card art is amazing, and the boards look wonderful. I think it's set is great. I think if you're gonna get one, you should probably go for this one. What they've managed to do here is make unmatched just even more thematic. And in a world where you could just be all these Victorian monsters running around the dark, dirty streets of London. And I really enjoy it. Or have them fight Bigfoot, I don't know. Either way, 